Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and so today I was going to start working on this um, cover for my journal, the Rust and Numbers journal, all the manly sort of stuff I've been working on. Um, I have decided to go ahead and use one of these again. These are from Amazon. They're their new packaging that's just all the little foam dots on the inside, so they're biodegradable. <clears throat> But I have cut one down because it was it was a really big envelope. It was about like that to um, nine by twelve. So then it's a nine by six journal, and then um, I've pulled it apart so that they're the two layers are separated now instead of together. And then I like to turn them so that these parts that are printed with the Amazon information are on the inside. <clears throat> and then I do the pockets. Sorry, my throat is kind of yuck today. So, anyways. Um, I think what we'll do, actually on this side, is work on the front today, and I just think I'm going to do all kinds of sort of random collaging is kind of what I'm thinking about. And so I have some matte medium hair, and I'm almost out, so I'm praying that this lasts me. I may, in fact, use just a little bit of regular glue. <clears throat> just white glue um, to get some of the things glued down and then I'll use the matte medium like to go over the top of stuff. I'm going to use some fabric too so it's just going to be kind of a hodgepodge. Oh you know what I forgot. Hold on just a minute. I have one thing I gotta go grab. Okay hi sorry I apologize for um, that confusion and my light was flickering there sorry. Um, I wanted to go grab some gauze. Uh, thank you to everybody who has had kind well wishes for my husband. He is doing mucho better. <clears throat> he was in a lot of pain for a couple of days, but it's, you know, not perfect, but it's getting better, so that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, so this is some of the gauze that I got for his nose. <laughs> And um, he didn't end up using all of it, of course, so I thought it might be give me some texture on my cover, but I need to get a little color on it because obviously it's extremely white. Actually, let's just use that little square right there. <clears throat> so I thought some of these alcohol inks might be good. This might not get dry. That's the only problem. Sorry, I didn't plan this out better. I never know exactly what I'm going to do. And then ideas just come to me as I start playing around. So <clears throat> I did get a whole bunch of cogs and numbers and things printed out, but I didn't think about coloring on these. And I probably should have grabbed some rubbing alcohol too, and I didn't grab that either. I don't know if this is going to work because... Um, it probably would be a good idea to get color all over it first. <clears throat> I'm cutting something on the Glowforge and it's irritating my throat, so I apologize for that. That's why I keep having to clear my throat. <clears throat> okay, and I think I'm just going to kind of i to use up some more of this because I just want to give it a little color that I don't want. I really should have grabbed the alcohol ink. <clears throat> this is a, a different texture <laughs> for sure. I'm sure this is making many of you crazy because that do stuff with alcohol ink quite often. I just don't. So I don't know a whole lot about it. <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of wad it up now and try to pick up some of this. I just don't want it as dark. was keeping the alcohol ink um, in here for a while in my craft room and then it got used for something else and never came back. 
<clears throat> so yeah, he um, had a very good surgery. Everything went great and, you know, just like it was supposed to. So that was awesome. <clears throat> be off work for a while but it's kind of nice for him to have a bit of a break he's going to start a new job here coming up so that's it. he'll go back to work like just for a couple of days and then he'll start a new job he's in the same place but <clears throat> working for the same company and stuff but yeah so that's just kind of all we got going on <clears throat> Sorry. It's just got it all irritated. I'm just cutting some bamboo, and it seems like anytime I cut any wood type anything, it's vented. I can't even smell it, but it um, for some reason irritates my sinuses and stuff. <clears throat> this gauze is different than I remember gauze being. Did gauze change? <laughs> Do you guys know what I mean? I'm talking about that like wider. It's almost like you can't buy that anymore. It's all this super fine stuff. I mean, it's great. It'll be great for texture. So that's not an issue. And I didn't want this really wet either was the other thing. So this works pretty good to get a little ink on it this way. And I just have this glass uh, mat down because I'm going to be using wet glue and stuff. So I just want to protect my mat. I did get it cleaned up. Um, somebody was telling me to use Goof Off. And that seemed to help to get some of that glue off. I didn't get it all, but it's better than it was. So I'm like, I don't want to get wet glue all over it after getting a lot of it off. So yeah, I just thought this might make a cool background. And I'm not really sure how um, this bag is going to take, or this Amazon packaging is going to take the wet glue, so I don't know if we're going to see how it does. It's all an experiment, right? So I just thought I'd bring you along. This is more of a craft with me. I'm not really, I'm not saying it's a tutorial because I'm sure there are better ways to do some of these things and I'm not professing to know them, but this is just how I kind of do things. Especially not alcohol inks, so that's all totally new to me. But a few people did mention last time you need to use alcohol with it, not water. Duh, right? <laughs> that was a total dur move, it, move on my part, but sometimes you just think, oh, this will work. I wonder if we get this wet, if it will tear easier. Don't know that'll make any difference at all. No, it's not, not at all like that, right? Just don't want those perfect edges, I think is what I'm trying to get at. But it does not tear easily. Okay. So to start out, I'm just gonna use some regular Elmer's glue. And this is what I used to use all the time, was this in water. I really um, just like it. I don't have a problem with it at all. And this is just straight up glue, so. <clears throat> but you definitely could add some water to it. I just want it to stick down. I'm not necessarily going for the whole Mod Podge entirely type thing. Because I'll go over the top of it with some matte medium. I just don't have enough matte medium to do the whole thing in that. Get some more. 
And I like the matte over anything else because it, over Mod Podge or anything, because it's uh, not glossy. See, like this will be a little bit glossy, but I'm going to cover most everything up, so I'm not worried about it. Could use glue stick for this too. Yeah, I spent most of today, this for me is Sunday, not Monday, um, like I was telling you guys, I'm having so much trouble uploading videos that I'm trying really hard to stay a day ahead, um, so, just want to get the edges kind of here, and I may be adding more inks and stuff as I go, so this may not seem very grungy or dark, but um, I think it'll get, I'll hopefully get there. So this is just all kind of an experiment because I haven't done a cover like this on this type of paper. I don't know if it'll keep its crinkle is kind of what I'm wondering, so. We'll find out. Oh yeah, but I spent most of the day just printing stuff out on my Glowforge. Um, I did come up with a few <clears throat> like stencil type things, some numbers and stuff. So you may be starting to see some of those in my shop. I'll try to remember to show you some of the things. And I've got a couple more of those hearts done with all the doilies and things on them. And I've also done um, like Easter eggs. I was doing those while my hubby was not doing that great after surgery. I just sat on the couch with them and I just glued stuff to <laughs> Easter egg shapes to make some Easter eggs. I thought those would be fun. So yeah. <clears throat> And I've got some other papers from my porch prints, my porch prints, and so I thought these might be kind of fun to add to this in bits and pieces. I want the edges that are along there to stay a little more. Yeah, they had some a neat one, and I'll leave a link to it in the description box. I can't think off of the top of my head what it's called. It's industrial something. I'm just I'm not sure. So. Hold on just a second. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> My husband didn't realize I was videoing and he was telling me something. <laughs> so. I found a table for the Glowforge and was coming to tell me he ordered it. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get it. talking about but yeah I'm not a um, expert on this by any means so I just am kind of playing around because like I said not tried this before and I'm all about using what you have so like Elmer's glue is just fine whatever you have it really especially with this type of an art medium um, I don't think we need to be super duper picky on you know whether you've got matte medium or whatever that's just that's something I like to use but there's other stuff that works just fine so I think sometimes we tend to get picky on that and it's really not necessary just use what you've got 
That's just some old book page uh, there, obviously. I do like that, that look there. But yeah, I just want to try all different stuff on here. These are some of those um, images from that book that I have. That's just like a directory or a, I can't remember what it was called, annual reports or something like that. And it's just all the people that are in like city offices, police chief and whatever. It's all that kind of stuff. I just think it's fun. Fun stuff. So I'm just using a real thin coat of this, so we'll see how it works. Because I don't want to make this like sopping wet. And I probably will do some stitching because I do have some fabric that I'm going to use too. So, but I'll probably put that on after it's all dry and everything from this going to be different layers like that. I kind of want something here. rip back if you don't want to see the white edge. Okay. Oh, now I have no idea how long I'm doing this either. I guess I'll just do it until I'm done with this part. But you could use, um, if you didn't have Elmer's glue, because you may not, you know, I have it because I still got stuff left when my kids were younger. And I mean, they still use stuff like this every once in a while. So, um, but if you don't have that type of thing, you could use um, some watered down PVA or uh, tacky glue. Watered down would work just fine. This is from my Rest in Numbers Digi. So yeah, I like that, or the way that worked out. Maybe I'll do like an Etsy video so that I don't have to bug you guys with that if you aren't interested. Just got a few new new things. Okay, and then I think I'm going to use one of these numbers and these are some that I just cut out this morning on the glow forge. Yeah, I did a whole stencil with this. I'm just not sure if it's going to work because one of the numbers is so fine that I'm afraid it'll get messed up when stenciling with it. So I'm going to have to try it out and see how it does. <clears throat> Yeah, I decided I procrastinated long enough on this. <laughs> I don't know why I do that sometimes. I'm such a goofball. It's like, why are you having such a hard time getting going on this cover? I didn't know. 
really don't know. This is also from my porch prints. Just got some cool. Maybe I want another piece of this one. And maybe we'll do the B so we don't have just numbers. Uh, that was the glow forger. Just finished a print. So sorry if it is kind of loud in here, but I just really wanted to do this. And I wanted to video it because I don't do covers very often. Because a lot of times I'm doing fabric and sewing and going back and forth and it's just not very conducive to videoing with the stopping and not that I've not done any stopping today, right? But um, if I'd have been organized, I wouldn't have. I just got excited and want to get started. <laughs> under here. this grungy like I need to do this more I don't know if it's really grungy I don't know what it is but I just like it it's just fun something different I do get a little tired of all the lace and stuff sometimes I get bored easy Put that I won't be able to see those uh, the pins and this here which I do like to see am I still gonna block it uh, just about let's tear a little bit more off this other side we don't need all that blank Is sitting on top of the glow forge waiting for the printer to come on <laughs> the regular printer <laughs> for some reason whenever he hears the glow forge he thinks that the printer is going to go i don't know <laughs> what that's about but there he sits all ready for the printer to turn on because he's silly I think a cog would be fun on here. Oh, and uh, these cogs, I think I'm going to print some of those out too and just like make little bags of them. And so I'll probably just kind of punch them out of the paper and scoop them right into the bag. So you'll get like, if you get them, you'll get all the little things that are in all these spaces. And that's just because I, I don't have time to sit and pick all those out. But um, yeah, as you use them, you can just pop those out and get rid of them or whatever or you might find a use for them I don't you know everybody's so creative that who knows what great things could be discovered so yeah but yeah I think they would be fun to have in the shop to play with I might use no yeah, I'll just use the same I was thinking art glitter glue might work better, but I think this will be fine. The big part is that it comes out, so what? <laughs> and if there's other glue that you want to use to do something like this, then definitely do that. Yeah, I love these cogs. They're super duper fun. I printed them in some different paper, my paper and then some other paper. Go 
little one would be fun. Okay. See, those come with that center part, and so I would just leave those because you might want to do like put this one in the middle or you know one of the other ones or whatever. So I would just leave it so you can choose what parts you want or don't want or whatever. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in because I hate to, you know, print them all and then nobody wants any. So definitely let me know if that's a good idea or not. Spot. I like to kind of scoot them up to each other. And if I can just get this one down there. It'd probably help if I use tweezers, right? And I like using that plain bag background because even if it, you can see through it, you know, here and here, it's not like a big deal. Sorry, my little sponge is falling apart again. I swear that's all I do is change those stinking sponges out. It's kind of irritating, really. But I guess they weren't meant to be used every single day. <laughs> For hours. And it's kind of good to go over where the spine is because um, that way when it gets folded hopefully you know your edges don't pop up that's the hope anyway doesn't always work but oh you know what would be good is some of the numbers that are in that book where did i put that book thing. Oh, this isn't the right one. It's falling apart too, though. Um, where did I put that one? This one. It's annual reports. But I like some of these charts and things in here. Most days, I should say. Um, trying to think what I want. Just want mostly the numbers. I'll use those parts and other stuff too. I 
I'd like it if it extended that way further. I think that'll be alright. I think it'll be enough. There's about that much over the fold, so hopefully it will work. why they do that just sometimes they don't do it all the time so I think it's something with the lights themselves not necessarily oh, like the power or something I guess I can't really complain I got them at one of those um, big I don't know what they are it's like a giant yard sale or something but it's all the time I don't know Anyway, they were pretty cheap, so I guess that's what you get. Get what you pay for, right? Okay. What do I want down here? Kind of want like, maybe some more cogs. A bigger one. that one a lot, but I like that one. This one's good with all the rest. Does it need a smaller one, maybe? Oh, that's two of the same, just different sizes, huh? Durr. Let's do this one. Yeah, that'll work. Need to get in those little spots there. I'm going to go onto that picture a little. Oh, there's a little dip right there. Oh, come on. You can do it. Fuzzies are everywhere from that sponge. Sorry, I kind of get in the zone when I'm doing this, and it's really hard for me to talk about stuff, <laughs> random stuff. <clears throat> so. Let's use this. Just want a portion of it here. I still don't know what I'm putting here, but probably better to pour that into something and just dip the paintbrush in it. <laughs> That would make sense, so. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm struggling to see which direction is up. 
if you have good eyes you probably could tell right off the bat but okay that is looking good so I'm wondering if I took a piece of this this is like the negative or whatever you would call it this is kind of what the stencil looks like I'm just thinking if I could use a portion of it I don't think it'll work I don't like how square that is up there so let me see this will work. I'm tearing off camera sorry I'm just tearing a piece of paper I'm just running out of room on there Oh, I tore it a little small. Hmm. That wasn't smart. I'm just tearing the white bottom off of this. Is this part whiter? There's a little bit still not white enough. We're going to take a piece of this and put it up here and then we'll put this over it and that will be fine. I have a giant mess I am creating here. I was pretty cleaned up but then I just destroyed it again. That's kind of how it works. I need a little more color. I do like that. But I feel like I want more of the kind of rustiness or something. I like that blue in there too. After all that, I could have just used this piece. Let's just kind of like tear this little bit off, but leave the bottom part. I just want to get the cog, the whole cog. Right up to the edge there. And if whatever's hanging over like this, I'll just trim off. So I'm not that worried if that hangs over. And cut out a whole bunch of Tracy Fox's number labels because I was running low. So I think some of those might be fun to put around too. Just 
for some more color. And I just printed, I have them printed on, um, I actually had a bunch printed out, I just never cut them out. These are just on copy paper and I have some on the parchment paper as well. They print out great on either, so let me come up here more. So yeah, it's not a, no worries there. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. So let's keep going. Um, I think I do want to use this maybe. Could just kind of go all the way up the side. That would be kind of cool. Let me just do that. I need to straighten this so that it's straight on the edge. Sorry I'm doing all this tearing down here. It's, I'm just out of room and it's not that exciting. <laughs> just tearing. Alright. Come up to that there. I know it's a disaster looking. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a mess right now. I guess I can go ahead and take away that glass mat. I was going to use it, but then I grabbed that piece of um, what you call it, wax paper. So it's really not a necessity. Move some of my trash out of the way here. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit. That was getting... Wow. Yeah, I think I want it this way because I like those letters and I want to see those. This is kind of busy. I didn't necessarily mean that, but I kind of like it. Is up there. I'm gonna have to, that'll get trimmed a little bit probably. Oh, I do need to think about that though, don't I? Oh, I didn't even think about that. So something's gonna kind of have to go over that edge a little bit and then I'm not gonna come back up. Darn, I'm gonna have to think about that. I forgot that those are so obvious. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Might have to add just a little bit of something that folds over the side with my hands think. <laughs> Alright, we got that. We need looking for a piece of paper. There it is. <laughs> I love these guys. They crack me up. So I think they'd be fun on the front. The cover. <laughs> This was, I think it was the school board, they said, the school board.
Yeah. And then so we'll just do some stuff down and around and all that. Let's see. More numbers on either side of this. Not really. This little chart's kind of cool on this side. There's the light flicker, flicker, flicker. really want to cover this up because I kind of like that over there. I think that would probably work. Oh, is that even gonna, that's not even really helping me. It's okay, I can put more other things. mainly like street names and stuff. something else along there. I kind of like this. I printed out flowers on this and they did not work. They didn't, um, it kind of just burnt the centers out. <laughs> Sometimes it's tricky with that board forge, trying to figure out the settings. But anyway, so I can use a strip of this. Just a little bit, maybe. surgery went good. It's always just scary. I mean, that's what he does for a living, so like he doesn't really seem to get bothered by it, but I don't know. It just is always terrifying to me. Even though I know most of them and I know they're good and all, it just, I don't know. It's just scary. Scary stuff. That's all. I might actually go ahead and turn it this way because I like this coming in not straight there on that side. That's just scrap of paper. I don't know from where. It's just a black and white set of scrap of paper. And that needs some ink and I need to figure out what to put up at the top too. I'm interested to see if this is going to keep its crinkly. I'm afraid it's going to lose the crinkliness, but we'll see what happens. I want to pick up the top. Kind of cool. I wonder if I have one of those torn already. Fun. Some city auditors. That's 
that's from that book too. There's not enough of it, but it's just kind of cool. Do get a better edge on that. Okay. those because that's already up there. I don't want to totally cover up that Go like this. I put my city auditors up here. The picture's still not going to be enough, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Huh. That's what we'll do then. Just winging it. Yeah, that book just had the coolest um, script and had the way they decorated around the photos, like all this, it's just kind of cool for just being like the type of book that it was. stinker. No idea why I put that on the front, but hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I gotta figure out what to do about the edge. I'm so bummed that I forgot about that because I was gonna go around the edge with book page and I just spaced it. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and not ruin my whole collage here. Because it definitely needs something because those are gonna be pockets and plus it'll just look. <laughs> ridiculous with the foam all hanging out. It's just a dumb move on my part. up at no cost, right? Or at any cost at no cost. <laughs> Alright, let's see what other numbers or things we could use. That seven kind of gets lost. It's a tiny seven. Just 
just need something behind it because of that black cover there. all these little circles that have to be punched out. Work better. Oh, I also have these ones though. I forgot. Kind of like that black though. That's really like a punch of color. I mean it's not a punch of color but it's like it gives that <laughs> brain I think I just like the black better for those in this case little circles a little bit. Kind of like this. It's like a big washer, rusted washer or something. That doesn't need ink. And then I will probably let you guys go and I will figure out what on earth I'm going to do about the edges since I blew that. See, this is the thing about um, junk journaling. You can pretty much almost always fix stuff. And if you can't, I guess you just toss it. I don't know, but it um, is very forgiving, which is good for people like me that are dingy, because Lord knows I mess up more than not, probably, and have to fix things. It's hard to always be thinking about the order, you know, in which things need to go to work, right? Sometimes it's not until after that you've done something before you realize. I thought about it earlier today, though, so it was just one of those dur moments, which I have quite often. Okay, so... I kind of like the idea of putting another one of these on. Sticking to my sleeve. Got the odd number thing happening here. I've got four. <laughs> I'm not like somewhere kind of else. I like that better. Okay, and then we got our get our three up here, and then it looks like three city auditors. my classes. I don't know what I did, how I ended up starting a video without them, but you know, 
I was all not prepared today, so. Probably shouldn't surprise anyone. I have had too many days not doing a video, only like three, but it's kind of a lot. Oh my gosh, Amy. There we go. Well, you can't see a whole lot of my gauze, but I do like that effect. All right, I think that is good for now. And like I said, I'm gonna go over it. Um, um, the fabric thing, what I was thinking, because I said I'm gonna add fabric, is I'm just going to do like little bits and this is where the sewing will come in because I have some of this Tim Holtz fabric but I don't have a lot you know like big pieces I just have these little bits so I'm going to use my pinky shears excuse my ring Oh, almost broke a light bulb. Woo! Luckily those light bulbs are a lot tougher than they used to be. I just want like pieces that are kind of cool looking. And then I thought I could stitch them on like something like that and then stitch around it. So there is going to be some stitching on this cover, just not a ton. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to do around the edges before I do this. Because I may end up using some um, sorry, some fabric or something to go around the edges. So I don't know yet. I need to figure that out. If I would have used my brain, it would have been helpful. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking with the fabric. Just some bits and pieces here and there. And then the inside may end up getting covered with, I have a few larger pieces that I may cover entirely, or I may, um, you know, collage on that too. I just haven't decided yet. So anyhow, until I get that decided and I get this covered in mod, or not Mod Podge, but matte medium. I like this matte medium all over it and figure out what I'm going to do with the sides. So we're going to stop there for today. So I hope you um, like my crazy collage. <laughs> and again, thank you guys so, so much for all your support, kindness, and best wishes for my husband's speedy recovery and just, you know, prayers for him in general and asking about my family and um, all of it. I, I love you guys and I appreciate you. You cannot know how much. So um, yeah. Love you. <laughs> we'll talk later. Bye-bye <laughs> now.